Hello everyone, it's Bella, and today I am doing a another redraw challenge. I think it's number four. I might be completely losing track at this point, but um, yes, I believe it is number four. But the drawing, the original one, was done in between September and November of 2016, so last year. And I called it the timekeeper. It was just this lady who has all these clocks behind her and she has this kind of like steampunky outfit and these big go goggles on. And I was really happy with it, but I was just flipping through that sketchbook and I realized, you know, I could do so much better now. So I sketched it in my current sketchbook and then I cut it out <laughs> using some scissors. I mean, like, what else do you use to cut it out? <laughs> And then I use my light box to trace it to marker paper, which I'm using the Canson marker paper, which oh, it's so thin. It's 18 pounds, which is like thinner than printer paper. And it's, it's so thin and it crinkles when you erase and it's so horrible. Um, if you're gonna transfer something to it using a light box, just ink right away. Like don't use pencil lines because you cannot erase on this paper just don't just don't but anyways um then i started lining it and um i decided to add some line weight because i don't really do line weight that much i'm i've just started kind of doing it because it adds so much more depth to your line art i'm now realizing for me uh, before liner it was just something you kind of just like do it's like a second sketch but more final i guess <laughs> Um, but anyways, yeah, I used my Sakura Pigma Microns, which are my babies. I love them. I've been using them for years, and they're just great. Um, and then I used my Copic markers to color it in, because I was using it on marker paper. <laughs> I, oh my gosh, my cat's right next to me, and she just sneezed. But, um, my E00, I just refilled it last night, and I think I put too much ink in it, because it's like having these weird bleeding problems, like... It, it just happened in the video, like, it is bleeding so much of the marker, like, ink is literally dripping out of the tips, and there I was just trying to dry it off, but, um, yeah, so the forehead is really much darker than the rest of the skin, <laughs> so, yeah, and I'm sorry that it's kind of out of frame, um, I zoomed in today because it was kind of a smaller drawing, and I, I regret that, because <laughs> I was trying to pull it closer to myself, and it just, like, you it wasn't in frame. But I worked on the glasses. What I did is I colored in the skin tone a bit lighter, and then I colored in the eyes, and then I put in the glass tint, <laughs> which was yellow. And, yeah. Um, the color scheme on the old drawing was so weird. I feel like I just had some markers and I just picked whatever ones I wanted to use. Um, like, she has this weird cool gray headband and, like, all these, like, weird pink and green clocks. And this bright emerald green shirt. Like, I could- I didn't really want to change it because then I'd be, like, changing the drawing and it wouldn't be, like, a true redraw. But... Like, they're just the colors were so weird. <laughs> um, maybe sometime- well, I, I've definitely improved with choosing colors since then, but maybe sometime I'll, um, do, like, a redraw of this maybe from, like, a year or so in the few in next year, <laughs> and I'll change the color scheme because it's really weird. <laughs> And here I'm adding the highlights. I used a Prismacolor white colored pencil for some of the highlights in some places. I think just in the goggles, honestly. But, um, yeah, my jelly roll was working really well today. Um, the ink was just, like, flowing out of it really smoothly, and it was really opaque, and I was really happy with that. <laughs> and anyways, now I'm just coloring in the clocks, which I just kind of copied the colors that were in the original, and... Here I signed it because I thought I was done, but then I decided instead of just leaving the background plain white, I would take um, my big brush pen from Copic, it's a Copic multi-liner I guess, and fill in the blank spaces to create just kind of like a more dreamy feel, and I just added some highlights and adding the signature. Thanks for watching, bye bye!